Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, but assume Yahweh Shah, but assume Rakaka dies, double on the apostles. Our elders, a great millstone, much respect to you brothers out there that's preaching this word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom. So I just want to do a quick video about a vision that the Lord gave me a couple days ago. And, um, you know, as you see on the screen, Lord willing, I put it on there. <laughs> but as you see on the screen, um, the one that I'm uh, that I illustrated that I drew was pretty much a, a, the baby version, you know, because the bigger ones that I saw, which it could have been Leviathan, could have been a newly formed creature or just an old creature that uh, Esau Edom has hasn't discovered yet. But uh, the the bigger ones were huge, and it was pretty much a, a black or or very very dark. Okay, that's, that's pretty much what I saw with the bigger ones. And they had a, a, a body, almost like a Komodo dragon or a crocodile. But um, this one on the screen that you're seeing that I drew, um, it was the baby, which I'm calling it a baby, you know. It was still huge, but uh, compared to the adults or the more grown ones it was pretty small and lighter in color i'll give you an example in real life uh you can look at uh komodo dragons or um crocodiles you know when they're young when they're hatchlings they're um they're brighter in color but as they grow up they get darker and darker so um pretty much the vision started out I was in a forest or somewhere and um, you just ought to suddenly look up and there's this huge ass creature, man. I mean, this, this creature was, was very, very huge. You know, uh, looking back, I'm like, man, they, <laughs> they could get even bigger than that. But the, uh, I believe I saw two, could have been three, more of a Godzilla-like but uh, I, I know I saw two for sure, and um, I saw it. I looked it. I look up, and I see this creature, and um, you know, once again, it's all black or or very very dark, and um, it starts coming my way, and I'm like, oh snap! So I start running, and I I know this, my composure, you know. Even though I'm like, oh snap, but um, I'm I'm good, you know. I'm like, hey, I just just got to get the heck up out of here, man. Get, Lord willing, I get up, uh, uh, <laughs> don't get eaten by this monster, man. So that's the mindset that I was in, you know. Once again, even though I was like, oh snap, you know, I'm I'm moving, you know, I'm not scared or anything. I'm moving, and um, you know, I used to run track in high school. So I, I can move and uh, think it back to it. I'm like, man, if if this creature really, really wanted to, it could have caught me. You know, I'm moving. This creature is moving. I'm moving. It's moving. And, um, you know, I made some smooth moves and um, I end up getting away from the creature. And uh, I want to get this scripture right here. Let me get um. First, I want to get Proverbs 20 and 24. And man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So man's goings of the Lord. We're in this truth. You know, a lot of us, we didn't see ourselves out there on the highways and byways preaching this word, telling our people to repent. You know, we didn't see that in our future. But hey. Like the scripture says, a man's going is of the Lord. So he breathed the breath of life into us. And now we're out here doing his work. 
And uh, sometimes, you know, in your day to day life, you don't understand what you're doing. You know, you may make a right turn or get on this highway and that's just the Lord guiding you. You know, it could have been a wreck or, or something bad happened and the Lord just guides you to the right direction and safety. Matter of fact, I'm going to get um, Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them. Okay, the angels are watching you. The Lord is guiding you into the right direction. So that's pretty much what happened. I made them smooth moves and I got away from the creature. All right. So it was, so it was beautiful how the Lord set that up. You know, once again, I wasn't scared. I mean, it was just a, a automatic reaction. Hey, I got to get the heck up out of here. You know, you stay composed in these last days. You stay composed now. Okay, and so looking back at, at, at you know, it's all your how about you outside that we can stay in the right mindset, in the right mind frame to keep calm in these days. You know, even though something may, may startle you, you still good. So anyways, I get away from the creature. You know, once again, this creature was very, very huge, dark in color get away from it and um you know i guess i'm walking and i end up near a body of water and um this is when i see the the baby version okay the one that you see on the screen it's a little more greener in color or brighter in color now i will say this take the design with a grain of salt okay take it with a grain of salt you know i try to draw it to the best of how I remember it, you know, I pretty much drew it quick, quickly, and, um, you know, I wasn't going to uh, go fully, fully detailed and all, you know, because once again, it's a, it's a dream, a vision that the Lord gave me, so I'm like, hey, take it with a grain of salt, you know, this may be right, this may be very, very similar to what I saw. But anyways, the uh, creature, you know, came up out of the water, very, very majestic-like, <laughs> I should say. And, uh, hey, it was a sight to behold. I was like, whoa, what is this, man? Whoa, you know? And so I stepped back, you know, just gazing at this creature, man. And um, it was just like, whoa, <laughs> looking back. I was like, and then um, there was, um, I don't know, the Lord didn't allow me to see who was right beside, beside me, I don't, so I don't know if it was another brother or, or a sister, but anyways, what I got from it, I was at peace with them, and um, you know, they end up getting the shotgun or, or whatever gun and start blasting this creature. You know, started blasting this thing. And uh, the creature ended up falling over. And, you know, falling over in the water, we uh, I end up walking close to it. And start gazing at it, you know, looking at its claws and its body and all that stuff. But this is what I noticed. You know, even though it was like shot so many times, there was no blood. Okay, there was no blood. So it's pretty much, you know, this baby, this baby version being shot like a million times. There was no blood. And I'm just like, hey, is this thing dead? You know, there's no blood. Is this thing dead? Or, or is it just playing dead? Or is this thing just knocked out for a little second? And that's what I got from it. It's pretty much like knocked out or, or just playing dead for a second. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> just gazing at it. And so that's pretty much where the dream ended at. I don't know if it woke back up or, you know, once again, it was just in the water for a little second and, you know, no blood. So I guess the creature was good and we just ended up walking away from it. But um, I want to get this scripture. Let me just go to um, Amos. 
Because these creatures are going to come, man. And the Lord is not a man that he should lie. Matter of fact, I'll get there real quick. It says, um, Numbers 23 and 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said, and he should not do it? Or have he spoken, and he shall not make it good? Okay, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. And when you read Wisdom of Solomon 11, uh, verse 17 through 19, these newly formed creatures, okay, these newly formed creatures, all right, if the Lord said that these newly formed creatures and Leviathan is going to come, hey, he's not a man that he should lie. So these things are going to come to pass. Okay. Matter of fact, this is also going to come to pass. This is our verse 20. Behold, I have received commandment to bless and he have blessed and I cannot reverse it. Okay. The Lord has a promise for the 12 tribes of Israel. That we are going to have rulership. Alright. And that's what we striving for. So you got to endure to the end. So no matter what comes your way. Stay composed. And um, hey, just understand the Lord got the kingdom of heaven. Waiting for us. Okay. That's, that's what we waiting for. And he's not a man that he should lie. So that's going to come to pass. You just got to endure to the end. And these newly formed creatures. Leviathan's going to come, come to pass, man. So, hey, these, these, these people out here, they have no idea what's going to come to pass. But we do. And the Lord just gave us a little glimpse of what's going to come to pass. Um, let's see what I was going to get. Uh, Amos. Yep. Amos 5 and uh, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And um, how my dream went, you know, the sun was going down and it was getting very, very dark. And these creatures were very, very huge. And they were dark. <laughs> and I can only imagine the, the damage and havoc that these creatures can cause. You know, these creatures can move, man. They can move. And if you don't have the spirit of the Lord, that mark of, of exemption, you through. Because many great miseries are going to be done unto these people in these last days. Verse 19, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. And that's what happened, man. I fled from the huge creature. And then... The baby shows up and the baby was still huge too, you know? So you flee from one creature and then another, another creature shows up or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So a hey, many great miseries was coming, man. But the difference between us and the rest of the world, we're, we're, we're getting prepared in our minds. You should be preparing in your mind to see these things to see other chaos okay because when you prepare your mind you are already going to be ready for when it pops off you're not going to be too startled right you're just going to be calm and composed and you're going to go through the motions but these people <laughs> man they they threw verse 20 shall not the day of the lord be darkness and not light even very dark and no brightness in it okay so these days are coming man i just wanted to um do this very quick video man um stay prayed up the lord is his spirit is moving and we're just in them times where he's pouring out his spirit and his prophets and you know everybody whether you're a prophet or not they they're seeing vi visions, you know, so we're in them times, man. All right. So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying until next time, Lord willing, shalom.